All right, thanks again for the fill, ladies and gents. Thank you, thank you. We're doing uh, National Treasures, random player number 16. Random player number 16. Uh, those are your participants right there. Let me scroll down the list. Shows how many spots you got. And I'll scroll down so hopefully you can see your name. And then if you had multiple spots, then I just copied your name multiple times so you have the correct number of spots all the way down to spot 407 down there all right so we are going to get our handy dandy randomizer up on the screen all right we're going to roll the dice we re-roll snake eyes No, I haven't heard from Troy in a while. Troy Dishman? Oh. Yeah, I haven't heard from him in, in a long... I don't think so. Let me see. When's the last time Troy... Now you made me curious. All right, I'll, I'll roll that in a second. But... Yeah, Troy... Last time he was in was August 13th. So it's been a while. A couple months. All right, let me roll the dice. I'll re-roll Snake Eyes. Who hypes up prices, XJ? 11 times. Uh, is Jeff Wilson the guy that does... Is he the sports cards investor guy? I think that's the sports card investor guy, right? Uh, 11 times. 11 times. One. Two, three. Yeah, I've met him a few times. He's a nice guy, but yeah, he's not always right, though. You're right. Four, five. I know Austin was on his program when he started. He interviewed him six about soccer cards. This is way before when Mbappe's were like 50 cents. Seven. That's the one thing he was right about, but at that point it was eight. It was very hard to be wrong about anything because everything shot up during COVID, you know. Nine, but he did a show about how soccer cards are so undervalued. You should buy, buy, buy soccer cards. And that turned out to be one of his shows. He was very right. Uh, Ten, last one is 11. But yeah, I know he's been wrong on a lot of stuff. Boom, 11. All right, so here we go. Let's scroll down slowly. Honestly, Jemu, it's not like anything else, uh, Yarno. It's like I was an idiot. Like I get these things, these stock like, Oh, this is the best stock ever. You should buy, buy, buy. And I paid like hundreds of dollars a month to get these stock, like, uh, you know, like uh, how they recommend, like, buy this stock, don't buy this stock. So, me being an idiot, I went and bought all these stocks that they recommended. And of course, I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, but, you know, who knew? It's just sports cards the same. I mean, it's basically like buying a stock. I mean, you're going to be right sometimes, you're going to be wrong. But in all fairness, like the last six months, everything is down. Like, whereas during COVID, everything was up. So you could, no matter what you recommended, unless you were a complete idiot, like 95% of whatever you recommended would be up. And now it's almost the direct opposite. I mean, almost anything compared to six months ago is down. So unless it's just like one really, you know, couple of players might be the exception, but... All right, let me uh, get rid of this. Yeah, like, oh, I had tech stocks, man. I'm seriously, I put like, yeah, I you don't know how much I'm down. It's crazy. It's like the first time ever I bought, like, I, I did all my savings, everything, retirement. I put about... 300 grand of retirement money into stocks and 
needless to say, I think it's down like a hundred grand in like a year. So what was 300 is now 200. I figure I'm gonna leave it there for 20 years, but who knows, maybe someday it'll, it'll be back. But that was like all the, I had like a 401k and another one, I combined them and I pulled them over and I was like, all right, let me do some. Yeah, exactly, that, that, it was the worst time to buy because I bought it at like the height, you know? Like I bought all, all that crap, like, you know, Netflix and Zoom and all that stuff. I mean, some of it I did okay on, but some, like some of the safe stocks, even Disney or Apple or and like, not like, I didn't buy like crazy stuff, you know? But yeah, it's, it is what it is. What can you do? Can't run it all. I'm not going to retire anytime soon anyway, so... All right, so now we're going to do uh, 11 times on this one. Yeah, I keep breaking. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I was like, after that, Martha, my wife's like, why do you buy stocks? I'm like, I don't know. I just thought, you know, everybody was making all these monies on stocks. I figured, why not? Let's join the party. But uh, yeah, I have a quick uh, one. Two, three, four, oil stocks, okay, yeah, five, yeah, I, I think all tech stocks are down this year though, in all fairness, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleventh, and final. Good luck. Boom. Eleven. Jean Moutinho on top. Gavi in the three spot. Young Min Sun, seventeen. <laughs> release day prices are still as high. You know, honestly, it's kind of a weird situation. It, it's kind of sad because there's really three or four companies. I mean, honestly, you know, NT, like who decided that NT was like 60, 15 or 16,000? Basically, Blowout, David Adams, and uh, Steel City, like companies like that. And I don't know where they came up with that number, but then that affects everybody else because then you know, everybody has it at a certain price. Then the distributors raise their price from initial allocated price because they want a piece of the action. So they're not gonna sell it to you at allocated anymore. They wanna bump it another four or 500 bucks a box so that, you know, they get more of the action. And then everybody's trying to sell it at these crazy prices. And if you sell it at like, try to sell it at a reasonable price, then they get on you because you know, you're killing the market. So it's kind of like a no-win situation. You're going to piss somebody off, either the distributor or Panini or the buyers, you know? So it's... But really, it's like, it was kind of random, and they're the ones who kind of set the market, and then everybody else kind of follows. And then, but at the end, it's you guys. I mean, it's the consumer that decides if that price is legit or not and obviously on this product it wasn't and opposite i mean years past it was the opposite it would come out low and like it would be at 300 bucks on blowout and within a week it would be at like 600 or 700 because everybody liked it so much but yeah those days are long gone But I think personally, this one's gonna settle in around ten grand. Would be my guess, around nine, ten thousand. I could be wrong, but that would be my guess. All right, here we go.
Yeah, but I mean, it's it's the truth because if I this case, yeah, if if the market's at sixteen and people were saying, well, these should be selling at like eight, and if I, if I come out at eight, I guarantee you my phone would be blowing up. Like people would be like, what the hell are you doing? You're killing the market. You're just you know. I'm like, well, I mean, it's fine to do like one at like a promo or something like that every now and then, but otherwise, you know, I, I guarantee you the distributors, Panini, everybody would be like, what the, you know, and then you get in trouble with them. So, but yeah, and in all fairness, every other, most of the other products that have been out this year have been losers. So whereas in 2021, it was impossible to really lose on a product. Whereas this year, there have been probably more losers than winners. All right, let's do this now. Yeah, Bundesliga, that's the one that's basically... Uh, anything Bundesliga was a nightmare. Speaking of losers, guys, uh, I'm getting about 20 cases of MLS. So, uh, I don't know. We're going to do like an MLS party for you MLS fans. A few cases of what, XJ? You're hoping for... All right, here we go. Let's do it this way. Yeah, exactly, Jimu. 20 cases of... So that's why everybody's trying to make money on this because otherwise you might as well just shut down. If you can't make money on this one, you're going to be losing on Bundesliga, MLS, half the Champions League stuff that came out that was overproduced. In all fairness, the losers seem to always be tops, you know, like at least the ones that would lose you money. And it's also because tops like kept raising their prices where Panini didn't. Like Panini could have came out and said, okay, well, we're going to sell this at like if it's, you know, for $3,000 a box to, you know, to the stores and the breakers. And then, you know, it drops to 2000 and everybody's losing. That That's what's happened, unfortunately, with a lot of products. But I think they're, you know... Tops will see the light and they'll see where the market is and not raise prices and produce more. Oh, the NT. Nice. Of the NT. Okay, I thought you meant you bought a few cases. Sorry, I mis misread your, your thing. All right, there we go. Good luck to everybody. Let's just see the big guys. Cristiano Ronaldo. Who got Cristiano Ronaldo? P. Nick. Uh, Diego Maradona. Who got Diego Maradona? Gasson. Good luck. How about Lionel Messi? Batistuta. That's XJ. Grace, son, Lionel Messi. Got David Beckham. Where's Beckham? XJ's got Beckham at least. There you go, XJ. Good luck. Finally, Pele. Who's got Pele? Matt Chiavaro. Good luck with Pele. All right, let's get rolling, guys. Let's get rolling. I'm coming out, so you better get this party started. Let's do it, Matt. That would be sick. It's got a little football, soccer ball on it. Cool. Oh, who was Mbappe? Yeah, I told I checked everybody. I forgot to check Mbappe. Killian Mbappe, who had it? 
Wow, it he fat. He it he good luck, brother. That's the one spot I should have checked first. He it he with the Mbappe spot. Part of our awesome Thai contingent. Let's see if we can hit one for Thailand. Start off the break with Morten Thorsby of Norway, 20 of 25. Morten Thorsby. Same dude. All right. Austin rigged. I didn't realize Austin snuck in here. We got breakers hooking up breakers. Maldini, let's do it. Oh, there you go, butter. Good luck. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can pull you on. Austin Brown. Yeah, to ninety nine. Yeah. Charlie Wells. Eighteen of forty nine, Samir Nasri. Roger Torres. Five of ten, Sergio Region. Ricardo Longarini.
15 of 99, Pedro Neto. XJ. Two of ninety nine, Alexis Sanchez. Chuan Dong. Gianfranco Zola, Gianfranco Zola. Tarek Coelho. Uh, boom diddy shaka I was like who the heck is that 34 of 99 got a den donker and Dennis Praet so we're gonna have to do a random for this one Let's see Dennis Praet that is Mert Leander Leander Dendonker. That's Chuan Dong. Chuan Dong. Chuan Dong and Mert. Good luck. We'll random that off later. Eighty five of ninety nine Tiago.
Just plain old Tiago. Which Tiago is that? It's got to be Alcantara, right? Who is that? Which Tiago is that? It just says Tiago. Spain is Alcantara, right? Because Mota, or is it? I don't know. Give me a second. I'll look it up. Not Silva. Tiago Alcantara. That looks like Tiago Alcantara. Where'd the other one go? Yeah, Alcantara. That's got to be the one it is. Ben Rasa, there you go. When I saw this one, I got all excited because I saw the team, but it's the wrong dude. Martin Thorsby, one of one. I was like, shit, did we hit a one of one Holland? But nope. It's a one of one Martin Thorsby. And I think that reason why I noticed was because it looks exactly like this one. For Austin, breakers, hooking up breakers. One of one Martin Thorsby. Got a one of one and a 20 of 25. Rigged. Malta and Silver are both Brazilian. And who we got here? Ooh, nice one there. Shabby Alonso on card. Why not? Let's give that one a go. Mag love. Abi Alonso, España. XJ, boom, did he? XJ in the house.
Colombia, Duvan Zapata. Colin Darty. Fifty-seven of ninety-nine, Noah Okafor. Russ Riley. about Cess Fabregas on card 14 of 25 Sesk a little Sesk action um too Sesky for my shirt too Sesky for my shirt so Sesky it hurts I'm a model you know what I mean Russ Riley with the Sesky card Boom, did he? Little on card sesk. I'm just a sesk machine. And I don't work for nobody but you. All right. Pepe. 23 of 99. Sahatai. There you go, Sahatai. Yunus Musa, 62 of 99. It he. The OGP it he in the house. Hope you're doing well, brother. Yeah, catch up soon. Gotta plan my trip to Bangkok. 43 of 49. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. So it's gone quiet in here. Crowd is quiet. Stephen Chen with the Harry Kane. Eight 
What do you guys want to break next? We're going to just do some leaf next or what? We still have the leaf people in here that want to do. See what those are like. Hey, my boy, JT. JT Boom Diddy, 74 of 99. JT. Tiago Ferreira. Tyler says Leaf. He wants all those Guardiola and Ivanovic Sech and all those cards, huh? So one thing Leaf's good at is Croatian autos, it seems, huh? JT's gotta go on the wall. He's JT. Oh, that's right. I don't know if you guys noticed. You guys notice my jersey today? There we go. That's right. I'm officially a Wrexham fan. Go Wrexham. Uh, Steven Bergwin. Steven Bergwin. Yellen Tang. What is that? Oh, okay. The Dead's pull spot, that's right. Yeah, that's the dead pull spot. Ryan Reynolds and the dude from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. About twenty two of forty nine, Roberto Firmino, Bobby Firmino, that's a sticker, but it is match worn. Firmino to forty nine. Abdullah. Congrats, Abdullah. I'm just a love machine and I don't work for nobody but you. Uh oh, this has been like. I don't know if it's just my cases or maybe I've run into a series of cases. We've hit a boatload of this guy right here. Boom, did he shaka? Tyler, look away. He's going back up on the wall. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor, 96 of 99. I live upstairs from you. Think you might have seen me before. Hmm. If you hear something late at night,
what is that? That's like my fourth Luca, I think, out of like six, seven cases. Eight, well, no, four, five, six. So we did four and three, like seven or eight cases. We've hit like three of him, I think. All right, big question. Who's got Luca? Paul Brooks. Boom, did he? There you go, Paul. National Treasures Luca. National Archives. Two down, two more to go. Dos mas. Got a redemption on the bottom, whatever that means. It's in the money spot. Redemption in the money spot. Wu Young Jung, 78 of 99. Ha Song Kim. Ha Song Kim. Alexander Reeves, the champ at Petco. So what do you guys think? Any predictions on the Padres Philly series? Seem to have a lot of Philly followers in here. Although they're probably sleeping now. What time is it in Philly? 6 a.m. almost. Alexander Reeves. France, Aurelian Chua. Oh, goal. Golasso, Golasso, Golasso. That's the guy. 68 of 99. I don't know if that one's. Let's see. Let me see. I got to go to the VAR on this. Okay, not quite, not quite maggable, but still pretty sick. 
because it's to 99. If it was one of the lower ones, plus I don't want to mag it because you're probably going to get it graded. Aurelian Chuameni. XJ! XJ, you want a mag? Sorry, just noticed it's XJ. Let me know. If you want a mag, I'll be glad to mag it for you. Boom, Diddy, XJ. Let's go. I go for about 150 bucks. Card. Espana, that looks like Santi. It is Santi Cazorla, 21 of 25. Santi Claus. Charlie Wells. Ospina, David Ospina. Ricardo Longarini. Yo, Ricardo, we got a bag already. It's to 99. We also had the Region to 10. Player worn, player worn, both of them. Mexico, Andres Guardado, player worn. Oliveira Jamie Vardy, one of 25. Jamie Vardy. Austin Brown. Nicholas Burdiso. Son Al Kuri. Keep us on.
Nikki Butt, 14 of 99. Nikki Butt. Carlos, Eduardo, Herrera. There you go, Carlos. Card Ivan Perisic. Uh oh. Uh oh. What a case for Croatia. I was like, I'll take Croatia in that case, please. 41 of 49. Roger Torres. Two. Keep, uh, double bagging. All right. Well, we have a redemption coming up. You're cute and good a bit. We have a redemption coming up. I can't see that far, so I can't tell you who it is, but we shall find out in a second. There it is. Soccer. We know that much. They got that right. 2022 Panini National Treasures. Come on, be something sick. Penmanship Sapphire. All right, well, it's Sapphire, at least. Penmanship Sapphire. Card number 41. Pedri. Nice. Pedri Penmanship Sapphire. Who's got Pedri? XJ, boom, diddy. XJ, XJ. Right, let's XJ throw that in there with his Chuameni rookie. All right, we got one last box. Come on, we need a monster. We need a monster. Por favor. Adios mio, come on, it's time.
Manuel Akanji, 23 of 25. Orlando Oliveira. Redemption on there too. Uh, Nicolo Barea, 18 of 99. Nicolo Barea. Ramon Jacunde. Jacunde. William Carvalho, 9 of 99. Stephen Chen. Raul Jimenez, 81 of 99. Raul Jimenez. XJ. Bernardo Silva, three of five, match-worn material. Ricardo Longarini. Nice one there, it's a five. Arturo Vidal, 30 of 49. Itty. OG. Torres, España, 74 of 99. 
young young men Italy, Antonio Cabri. Antonio Cabrini. I don't know. Apparently so. I don't know why Austin's cases have been so much better than mine. What a route. Well, on the bright side, Austin has been breaking more than me. He's like, I think he did six and four ten. I did five and three, so no, he did no, he did five and no, he did five and four or six and four. What did he do on day one? Yeah, he did six, I think, right? Can't remember. Anyway, no, I think he maybe he did five and four. So he did five and four nine, and I did four and three seven. I think that's right. is got a redemption penmanship Rudiger Antonio Rudiger Alex Summerfield
Yeah. Boom Diddy Shaka on card Luis Figo to 99. I saw that and I was like, come on, be Ronaldo. But then it's Figo. Ade, congrats, Ade. Recap, Alexander Reeves, you got Wu Young Jung, uh, Ben Rasa, you got Tiago to 99, on card auto, Alex Summerfield, you got uh, Antonio Rudiger, uh, Colin Darty Zapata, Chuan Dion Liu, you got uh, Alexis Sanchez to 99. Charlie Wells. Santi Cazorla. Charlie Wells again. You had Bulaye Dia. Hassan. You had uh, Nicholas Burdiso. Kiiti. You had a Yunus Musa and then an autograph for Vidal. This Musa patch. Austin, brother. You had a patch card for Jamie Vardy, and then you had the one of one of the Norwegian dude, and you also had one to 25 for him, Thorsby, I think. All right. Ramon. You had uh, Barea to 99. Orlando Oliveira, you had Akanji and Guardado patch there. Uh, Roger, you had uh, Perisic to 49 on card for Roger Torres. Roger Torres also had a patch for Samir Nasri. Waraut, you had Antonio Cabrini autograph to 49. Young Young Min, you had on card auto, Pau Torres to 99. Uh, Yilin Bergwin, one of 25. Steven Chen, you had William Carvalho and Harry Kane patch to 49. Sahatai Pepe patch to 99. Tarek Coelho. Redemption, Gianfranco Zola, Timeless Talent Signatures. Then uh, Ricardo. You had Ospina, Region, and then Match Warren, Bernardo Silva, 3 of 5 with the Manchester City patch. Hey Ross, what's up, brother? Yeah, Russ, that's been very disappointing, honestly. I mean, you would think they, you know, what is the best auto? Like, I mean, that was the case hit, basically. And for this kind of money, yeah, I agree. It's, uh, 
Yeah. I mean, you could hit really nice stuff, but unfortunately not often enough. Uh, Russ, you had uh, Okafor, and then you had the Cess Fabregas to 25 on card. Um, Abdullah, you had Firmino to 49. Who's that? XJ. You had uh, Jimenez. You had Pedro Neto. Chuameni, France to 99. Yeah, I, mean, I guess there's a Pedri in there, but still, even Pedri, that's... Sapphire Pedri is good. That was probably, actually, that's probably the best auto in the case, is the redemption right there. Pedri Sapphire for XJ. Nicky Butt. Oh, we gotta do that random. Alright, we'll do that random in a second. Carlos Herrera. Uh, Tiago Ferreira. You got John Terry. There you go. That's the case hit right there. JT. And then we'll do this random in a minute for Priot and then Donker to 99. And then the big well, XJ, you had a Chavi Alonso. The big best four autos were Alonso, Pedri, Modric, again to 99, and Figo. Yeah, I think the problem is they said they produced like 4,000 cases of this stuff. And if they did 4,000 cases of this stuff, and there's like 130 Mbappes, there's like about 200 Messis, and maybe like uh, two, 300 Messis, I don't know, a couple hundred Messis, a couple hundred Ronaldos, a couple hundred Pe you know, Pele's, whatever they are, if you just add all those up. That's still like a thousand. So you figure one out, you're gonna get like a big name, one out of every like four cases. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know if I did the math right, but something like that. Whereas in this price range, I mean, look at what Leaf does. I mean, Leaf puts like five of those guys in one case for like half the price. I mean, I understand they're not, they're not licensed, so they need to, uh, they don't have to pay for the licensing, but still, I mean, Charge an extra thousand bucks and just throw, I mean, it's not rocket science, right? If it costs $400, $500 to get a Messi or Ronaldo auto, pay them 500 bucks, charge an extra, I mean, what's 10,000 versus 11,000 or 11,000 versus 12,000? Just throw in a bunch of sick autos. Yeah, Beckham too. Uh... I have the USA boxes from 2016. I have 2018 Donruss blasters. I have uh, Mosaic Euro, Mosaic EPL. Uh, I'd have to look what else. I've got uh, Chronicles this year, or the brown ones, and then I have Chronicles, the red ones. I forget what year they are. I can't uh, all right, let me do this random here before we end this stream. Okay, who are these guys? Praet and then Donker. All right, good luck. We're doing the random for this card. Roll the dice, we re-roll snake eyes. Five times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and five. Goes to Den Donker. Then Donker is your winner. All right, so Leander Den Donker. Chuan Dong Liu. Thank 
Shell is not the same guy. Down the middle, yeah, same dude. Alright, two and down the wheel. You get the Belgium duel. Alright, thank you, Russ. Appreciate it. Uh, you got some boxes coming of these uh, leafs. You have a bunch of these leaf boxes coming, Russ. So I'll, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm only going to open a few tonight. I, I don't have it in me because there's like five cases of it. But uh, anyway, I'll... Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. You got a bunch of those bonus boxes coming. Uh, all right, let me end this. 